One of the newer at rules that has been added to CSS is the at supports rule. This lets you actually write CSS that will look at the features in the person's browser. So you have a user coming to your website with an older browser, it may or may not support something. This gives us an opportunity to write CSS that's targeted to that. So the way it works is if an older browser does not support the at supports, then the stuff that you put inside is not going to run. If it does support this, which is all the modern, all the modern browsers, they support this at rule, you can then add conditions. So here I've got some CSS. If my browser supports display grid, then this style is being applied, which it currently is. If my browser supports display rainbow, which doesn't exist, it doesn't support it, so none of this CSS is going to work. Now we can add other conditions. So we could say, and some other condition, let's say it supports um, transform rotate. And we'll say 15 degrees. So my browser would support using this in the CSS. I have to put a full condition inside of here. So transform rotate 15 degrees. Yes, that would be supported and display grid. So this CSS is being applied. Now, you can also test for things that modern browsers may or may not support by using the not operator. So we can do this. If it doesn't support display rainbow, which my browser does not, now this is going to be working. You can also swap out the and for an or clause. That works as well. Uh, so we can say, let's group this together. So if it doesn't support rainbow, and it does support, let's say, display block. There we are. So in the case where the browser doesn't support display rainbow and it does support display block, this is the CSS that I want to apply. And that's really the role is there is to it. You understand and and or logical statements. You can use this. Just make sure you've got uh, spaces in the appropriate place. So there's a space after supports. There's a space around and after the not, you need to have a space there. Beyond that, you're good to go. So hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.